everybody, welcome to another episode. So, we're getting started on our Blast Furnace Forge Blower box. Uh, pretty simple. For this one, all I'm doing is I wanted something portable that I can move around from either the Blast Furnace or the Forge or what other application I might find in the future for this thing. But, I basically just made a, a rolling box. Put a spot in the front for the dimmer switch. The top piece is just a handle to wrap the cord. Um, we'll get the blower here. Show everybody. You've seen this in other videos, but flip it up. Just... And it will mount something very much like that. Got a space under the bottom side here just so the air can get in. And nobody can stick their fingers in the blades. And that's pretty much it. I'll just uh, finish this up and we'll take another video. Just wanted to show everybody this was a quick little simple project here to for the forge and the blast furnace. But that's that one, so almost done. And uh, stay tuned for the next project. Okay, and this is the uh, finished product. Pretty simple. Um, it's probably, if you had to go buy everything, I would say $150 worth of stuff here. Um, the blower, you can get something very similar at your local, like Rona. Or, they're probably like $70. You'll find them in the um, the aisle where you keep all like the fireplace stuff. Their fireplace blowers is what you'll find them under. Um, very similar. Um, they're like probably 70 bucks. Um, I've seen them as low as like 49.99 kind of thing. The extension cord was just a dollar store pickup. Uh, there's at least one two by eight. Um, that's probably like five, six bucks depending on where you're at and what your local timber yard prices are like. Just some dollar store wheels on it. We'll go around the other side here. This is a just an on-off dimmer switch. They're $6.99 at your local like Rona Home Hardware. And that's pretty much it. Just straight in wired to the dimmer switch. Pretty straightforward wiring. Uh, extension cord. And then the way this will work is it'll just be a hose. And it'll sit next to the forge or blast furnace. And that'll be pretty much it. And I can roll this around and keep it in the garage in a different location for other projects. Um, while I was building this, I did come up with another one that I've been meaning to build in the garage. I usually don't do a lot of woodworking. Most of my stuff is metal fabrication, but I've been meaning to build a, a shop vacuum and uh, might be a little underpowered for that project, but I'll uh, do that project next. Everybody can at least see the basics. If it is underpowered, I do have a furnace blower that I was meaning to uh, hook up a in the garage for like an ex air exchange system to keep the garage a little cooler in the summer, especially when I'm in there welding. But that is that project. I'm probably looking at about two hours build time, at least a four by four sheet of quarter inch plywood, a two by eight, a blower fan, a dimmer switch, and a extension cord. That's pretty much all I used. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. That project's over. And See you in the next video.